What's up everyone, it's me, Jacob Spike Krauss, and this week's tutorial is how to play and sing my song, Shir Chadash. Shiru, Shiru Ladonai, Shiru Shir Chadash. So the words to Shir Chadash come from Psalm 96, and they say, Shir Ladonai, Shir Chadash, the whole world should sing to God a new song. Right? Because if we sing the same thing over and over again, if we do the same things and act the same way, we get the same results. We start to lose that kavanah, that meaning, that intention. And we always want to approach prayer and life with this kind of um, meaningful kavanah. Where might you use Shir Chadash? Well, specifically, we sing Psalm 96 during Kabbalat Shabbat, the first part of the Friday night service. So you might use this at the beginning of your Friday night service before you get into L'chadodi and Baruch uh, But you could also use this anytime that you're singing a song session or with a Sunday school class. Uh, it's really versatile. All right, last thing to know before we get started is that I'm going to teach you in the key of G. G shapes open on the guitar, no capo. Now the recording on my first CD, Shake Off the Dust, is in the key of A. So if you ever want to play along with the recording, you would put the capo on two and play the same chords that I'm teaching you right now. G shapes on capo two is the key of A. But for today's video, we're gonna learn in the key of G, which is where I would sing it with a group of people who maybe don't have as high of a voice as I do. Okay, so there's two sections to Shir Chadash. We're gonna take them one at a time. The first section, the A section, has three chords over and over and over again. It's the G chord, the F chord, which I usually play like this, and the C chord, which I usually play like this. So, the tricky part about the A section is the strumming pattern. We're basically going to play an eighth note pattern of the chords with some palm muting and what I call scratching, which is like when you mute the strings and you do you play with the right hand um, in between. So we're gonna play two G's and then we're gonna play two F's and two C's. Shiru, Shiru Ladonai, Shiru Shir Chadash. But you notice that it doesn't feel exactly energetic. That's because in between the hits, you really want to be throwing in this scratching pattern. So after you play your two G's, you're going to play the scratching pattern, which is down, down, up, down, up, down, down. So listen one more time. Down, down, up, down, up, down, down. And you'll notice that here I'm just kind of muting the strings, so I'm not actually playing the G. So, right, F, C, and that C comes in the middle of the up, down, up, down pattern. this scratching pattern once you've gotten to get the hang of it. If you want to uh, actually play the G all the way through that measure, if you want to sometimes strum it and sometimes uh, scratch it, totally up to you as you kind of make the song your own. Basru, 
next section. Okay, so the chords to the next section where we're going to sing in English uh, an interpretation of the Hebrew because it's always important to know what you're singing. We're going to play an A minor 7, C, G, D. A minor 7, C, G, D. Third time, we're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to play A minor 7, C, E minor to A dominant 7. And last, over the part that goes, we're all just singing a new song, we're going to walk up from the A minor all the way to D, like this. A minor, A minor over B, C, D. And I'm playing the D where I take the C and slide it up two frets. You could also play this D. Okay, so the strumming pattern for the B section is a slowed down right hand version of the same pattern we were playing in the A section. Now when I say slow down, I don't mean the song slows down. I mean the rate of your strumming slows down. And here's how this works. When we were playing the first section, we played our two Gs, and then we went into down, down, up, down, up, down, down. So it sounded like this. If you think about that only in terms of the right hand, we're basically going down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. So it's four down strums in a row where the first two are a chord. In the second section, we're actually going to cut off two of those down strums at the beginning. So instead of four, it's really only two in the space that the other four would take up. So down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Instead of down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, right? Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. It's only two. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. And that gives us this kind of a halftime feel. Uh, it tricks your mind into thinking the song is slowing down when really the tempo is staying the same. So, let's try one more time. Down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 with the words. Unto God, unto God, sing a song. Let the world, the whole world, sing along. Raise your voice, raise your voice. Let the whole earth rejoice. Cause we're all just singing a new song. And then we're back to the beginning pattern. That's the whole song. So let's go over the transition quickly between the A section and the B section. Shiru, Shiru Adonai, Baruch Hu Shemo. Basru, Neom Leom, Yeshua To the switch. Unto God, unto God, sing a song. Let the world, the whole world, sing along. Raise your voice, raise your voice. Let the whole earth rejoice. Cause we're all just singing a new song. So that's how you play Shir Chadash, my version. If you want to listen to it, you can find it on my first CD, Shake Off the Dust. You can find that on my website, where you can also find the sheet music, if that's a way that you learn, if you're a visual music learner and not an audible music learner. Some tips for teaching this song to your community. The first thing that I like to do when I teach this song is start with Shiru and ask everybody to sing that back because that part's gonna repeat over and over and over again, and even the person that really isn't great with music can get those three notes. Shiru. 
So as long as you have that as your bread and butter, encourage everybody in the whole community to sing those three notes. Shiru. And then if they're feeling good about it, you can add Shiru Ladonai. That section never changes. It's always the same. So if you encourage everybody to at least hold on to Shiru, Shiru Ladonai. They'll have a part to hold on to, something to be involved in, even if the rest feels a little bit too difficult for them. After I teach that first line, there are two endings in the A section, right? There's the ending that goes down, Shiru Shir Chadash, and the ending that goes up, Kol Haaretz, because the third one is the same as the first one, it goes down, Baruch Shemo, and the fourth one is the same as the second one, Yeshuato. So after teaching Shiru, Shiru Ladonai, I would say something like, now the first ending goes Shiru Shir Chadash and ask everybody to sing that back and then say, and the second ending goes up, it goes Kol Haaretz. And just like that, you've basically taught the whole first section and people just need to kind of practice a few times to get the rhythm. That would be my, my starting point. And then I would go from there and I would break up the second part line by line and encourage people to sing along, to sing with gusto, to sing with a lot of energy, a lot of ruach, and, and to really think about and encourage people to think about why are we saying we should be singing a new song? What's the point? What does it mean to sing a new song? What happens if you're not singing a new song, if you're singing the same thing over and over again? What traps can you fall into? And why is this so important? So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I would love to hear your covers. So make sure that if you learn this song, you record your own version and tag me in it. I would love to see them, share them, get excited about them. If you want more info on me or my music, to hear it, to see it, any of that, you can find it on my website. And other than that, I hope to see you guys soon. Later, everyone.